Hey, what's up guys? Trey from THCustoms.com. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, my top five jig trailers. Um, I've, got, I've got a couple baits that I've been using for years. Some baits I've been using recently. Um, but these are my top five jig trailers that I use throughout the season. Um, they all have their pluses. You know, it just depends on um, what the fish are doing. Um, and... You know, each bait is a little bit different in action, so, uh, you know, it, it just depends on what kind of cover you're around, um, you know, if you're on grass, stumps, logs, uh, rocks, stuff like that. These are some great, great jig trailers that I've used, um, and it pretty much covers everything. Let's start off with the Lake Fork Hyper Freaks. Um, these come in two different sizes. There's a baby hyper freak and the uh, normal size big hyper freak. Awesome bait. As you can see, it's got a giant paddle tail. It looks like a giant like beaver's tail. Um, it puts out a ton of thump. This is an awesome bait for snapping jigs or slow falling them. Because um, when you are throwing a jig and it is letting it fall, this thing starts to swim around and float around, kind of like a helicopter blade. Puts out a lot of motion, a lot of action to it. Um, you know, when I'm throwing this kind of style bait, I'll be ripping it up off the bottom and then letting it kill and letting that action kind of uh, dictate what the fish want, kind of more of like a reaction bite. Um, this is the Lake Fork Hyper Freak. This is in a uh, green pumpkin gold flake. Awesome, great color. Um, but this is a beast of a thumping, uh, thumping bait if you need, need a little bit more, uh, action to your baits. Next up, we're going to go to a Biocraw from Biospawn. Awesome bait. I've been using these for the past year, year and a half or so. Um, this is their new black light color. Been using this with my black and blues, my little bit darker jigs. Pull the uh, separators apart. Another awesome bait as well. Nice slim profile to it. Um, you can kind of tell on the uh, the kickers here. Great little bait. Uh, puts off a lot of swimming action. Um, this bait's more like a kicker, you know, so it, it kicks like this when it's in the water. Uh, great, great jig trailer. You can skip them well. Uh, I've been using these, you know, this one the last uh, couple weeks now. Throwing in that dirty water with that black blue chartreuse jig. Um, you know, nice and soft. You know, it's got durability. Uh, it, it's a great bait. Really nice, really nice jig trailer as well. Uh, a couple other ones that we've been using are the uh, the Missile Baits Destroyer. And the D-Bomb. This is the D-Bomb in their new GP3 color. It's a green pumpkin purple color. Nice bait as well. You can tell it's got all the ribs so you can hide the hook. You know, when you're hooking the, uh, the bait, uh, really oily baits. Um, this is a nice bait for skipping docks as well. It's a little bit thinner claws to them. Has a little bit different action than all the other baits. Um, it doesn't seem to like hang up on the, the hooks, kind of nice, but this is just another nice jig trailer that we've been using. Now this, Missile Baits Destroyer, it's a bigger version of the D-Bomb, a little bit bigger version than all the jig trailers I've been using. It's a pretty big bait, pretty big profile to it. Been using this on really heavy jigs out deep. I've been using it on Kentucky Lake. I've been using it up north. Um, I, I usually put on a seven eighths one ounce jig. You can also run it on a uh, like a half ounce, three quarter ounce footballs and drag them. But these create a lot of action. So you ripping them off, popping them, trying to swim them. You can swim the jig. Awesome bait to do that. Last but not least is going to be the Excite Baits Raptor Cross. 
Um, I tend to lean towards this size over the chunk. Um, you can kind of tell they're the same bait. This just has a little bit more meat to it. Um, I just prefer this size so I can either bite it down to the size that I desire or you can keep it a long, uh, you know, a longer profile, bigger profile. Um, the nice thing about the Excites is they float. Um, there's no added salt or anything like that. So their plastics will float up. Claws will float up, everything will float up. Uh, it's a little bit lighter bait, but it's a it's a nice jig trailer as well. A um, little bit little bit thicker claws to it. Kind of similar profiles as like the uh, the destroyer. Just doesn't have the long tentacles on it. You know that's green pumpkin. Uh, usually roll with like a black and blue, black blue colors. You know, they got this crazy looking crawl color as well. But as you can tell, <clears throat> I go through a ton. This is usually what I keep in a boat. I go through a lot of aisle crawls. I use these a ton. Um, it's just been my uh, new go-to jig trailers. Um, you know, I got some missile baits, some other stuff in here as well. But, you know, I've got colors that fit everything. Green pumpkins, blues. Black lights, I've got white ones for swim jigs, you know, I've got red ones for, you know, springtime, but yeah, there's some great baits, um, they all have their place, um, you know, the general bait for skipping is going to be the, uh, the Vile Craw and the Missile Baits D-Bomb, those two I feel are the best two baits to skip with. Uh, more of the moving action baits are going to be the destroyer, the the bile crawl if you want to swim it, and then the uh, the Lake Fork Hyper Freak. Those just have crazy action to them. Uh, great baits though. Check them out, guys. I'll put them on my descriptions below. Um, check out our website thcustoms.com. Follow us on Instagram. Uh, follow us on YouTube. You know if you guys haven't. Take care, guys, and we'll talk to you guys later.